Hey guys, Carson here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record a stereo and a multi-track mix down of Easy Drummer in Pro Tools. Let's get to it. Once you've opened up Pro Tools, we're going to go to Track, New, and we're going to create a stereo instrument track. I'm going to go ahead and name this EZD, short for Easy Drummer. I'm going to drag it out just a little bit. And I'm going to change the color to purple just because. I'm going to go ahead and make a multi-channel plugin, Instrument Easy Drummer. Once it opens, you're going to want to make sure it's connected properly. And if you're not sure how to do that, you can check out one or two of my previous videos explaining how to do that. Then we're going to want to record enable our track so we can hear it. And then just play something on our set. Check it out. If you're wanting to do a stereo mix down, let's create a new stereo audio track. Once that's created, we're going to go ahead and give it a name of Easy D Audio. I'm going to go ahead and change the color to yellow just because. Next, you're going to set the output of your virtual instrument track to bus 1 and 2 and the input of your audio track to bus 1 and 2. Next, you'll want to record enable your track and just hit record. Let's see what happens. And that is a quick and easy way of getting a stereo mix down of Easy Drummer. If you want to do a multi track recording instead, we're going to need to add a few more tracks. So let's go ahead and go to track, new, and we're going to add one stereo auxiliary track. And this is going to be for our drum bus. So let's go ahead and name it. I'm going to name it drum bus. And this is where all of our tracks are going to route to. So it'll be easy for us to change any settings if needed. I'm going to go ahead and change the color to red just because. Next, we're going to create eight new stereo audio tracks. Next, we're going to open the Easy Drummer plugin and then go to the Mixer tab and we're going to start cascading the output of each channel strip all the way from 2 to 9. And now I've sped it up here just so you don't have to wait on me. Next, we're going to connect each channel output to an audio track in Pro Tools. So we're going to go to Input, Plugin, Easy Drummer, and Easy 2. And we're going to cascade that all the way down for all of the audio tracks and all of the channel strips. Don't forget to name each audio track. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up again. Once you're finished, make sure to select each audio track. And then we're going to shift alt click on the output, select bus and hit bus one and two. Then we're going to make the input of our drum bus bus one and two. That's going to route all of our audio tracks to our drum bus. Now we're going to record enable Easy Drummer and shift alt click on the input monitoring button and then record. Next, we're going to record disable Easy Drummer and mute it. Then we're going to shift alt click on the input monitoring for all of our audio tracks. Then we're going to shift alt click on the record enable button. And if you see that all of them are record enabled, we can go ahead and start recording. Let's check it out. I'm going to go ahead and stop it now. And now you can see that each drum part has been separated into its own audio track. And that's how I do a multi-track recording using Pro Tools and Easy Drummer. And since you have everything set up and it took quite a long time, we're going to want to save this as a template. So go to File, Save as Template. And you probably don't want to include the media we've created here, but you will want to give it a specific name so you know which template to select next time you want to use this. Hit OK. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this session and open up a new one with the template we just created. 
choose Create from Template and select the template that you just created. And we're going to want to give it a specific name so it doesn't clash with anything else and hit Create. Once everything loads, you can see that everything is there and set up correctly and you can start a fresh recording right away. All right, there you have it. I hope that information was useful and I'll see you in the next one.